woke up feeling kind of mm, off today. How did I feel, Joe? Don't know. Don't know? But I came to you and I said, please don't get mad at me, but I'm going to have to change the house around. And what did you say? As long as it don't involve me. <laughs> as long as it don't involve me, it's fine. So this is what I did. I separated the two recliners. I may have had it like this before. I don't like that this living room is rectangular. See, take a look at it. It's a rectangular living room. It's not square. It opens up to the dining room. One spell after we first bought this house, I wanted to put up like a little bit of a wall to separate the two rooms. I'm glad I didn't though, because a lot of people like open space like this now. That's it's, it's in. The fireplace takes up the one corner that the wall has, which sucks. So now, this is what I done did. I got to put the clothes on my bed to fold. Separated everything here. So I have a little table there now that I can get stuff done. And I might sit here to do my reviews, you know? So I cleaned up my stereo because this was getting dusty. I have a little brush right here that I cleaned up the stereo. So whenever I can do any kind of cleaning and things get in order, I feel good. And cleaned up under there. Look, I moved the sewing machine and I put it on that side of the table because with Joe here, he has very limited space right here to do what he's going to do with the material and then he throws the pins on the floor and I'm so afraid um, um, uh, the dogs are going to get it in their paws or we're going to step on it. I mean, we tend to see it more than the dogs would, right? So look at all this, guys. What I'm doing right now, I'll show you guys too. See? Look at these beautiful bikes. Look at this. This is for Navy. Lucy, look at the fabric. Joe made this for little baby Navy. With a nice happy green. Navy's always making bread with her dad. So I'm going to ship that out to Navy. I hid two guitars back here. This is the recliner that Joe likes to pick at. So we have to have it all covered up from him. <laughs> and that chair is still there. And that's basically what I did all day. Plus making my lunch. You guys like this spot? Maybe I could sit here and do some reviews from time to time, huh? Well, because I was doing all that rearranging and putting things in order and organizing, I decided to clean this closet down the hallway and I found my little camcorder, which I have not used in a while. This thing is so old, but it still works. It doesn't work as great as this uh, Nikon that I'm using right here, but it still works. I like this camera because it has the spot in here that you could put a lavalier mic. Although I don't use a mic anymore when I'm doing the show because I can't afford like the $600 mics. So um, the $99 mics don't sound good and sometimes they fail. Then I have to go um, do the show all over again. And that sucks to have to do a cooking show all over again. So let me show you something about this. I don't know why the hole underneath the camera always gets worn. This is the second one that this has happened to for me when it comes to these um, Canons. It doesn't happen with the Nikons. So um, what Joe did was put it up on dubs, put it on this big screw so I could take the battery on and off. But the thing is this plate is now stuck permanently onto this whole rig. So this tripod is out of commission unless I'm using this camera. So Joe says, you better start using this camera because you're wasting a tripod. So I'm a little bit tired because of all the moving around that I did. Um, I mean, it wasn't too hard to move these two pieces of furniture, but it was a lot of things that I had to clean up in the way of material. I have a bag here sitting next to me where I found four different messenger bags that's cut already that I have not um, made yet. You know, Joanna, I haven't made it yet. And I found like three pleated bags, Belizean pleated bags that we have not made yet. So we have to buy Interfacer to make all those bags off. And hopefully I can get my Shopify store going here pretty quickly. Colin is really helping me. Uh, he came over last night and he helped for a long time. That's why the vlog went up so late. I was going to put the vlog early, but then Colin came over to help with the website. And of course, that took priority because I have to have the website up and running so that, you know, uh, people can find it and buy the stuff, right? Because no use in making all these beautiful bags and then people don't know where to get it. So um, I'm with iPage for my host provider. I, I, had left, I had left Bluehost and went with iPage. So Colin's trying to point the whatever you point from iPage to Shopify, because now Shopify is not really a host like a website host, 
but they're like an e-commerce host thingy. I, I still don't, I am so lost. I need Colin to help me with this. But in any case, when it's all done, I'm going to have a beautiful shop, but it's not public yet. So when you go to bearpantryshow.com, you keep seeing my old website, which everything there is still for sale and, it's still, and that's still working. So it's not like I'm down and out. But uh, Colin wants me to get all the images up with all the products so that once, you know, the thing points and it goes public, then the old website will be dead and gone. So what I found out is the thing that the, I guess, the website that Colin had me use to um, revise the picture because the pictures are too big when you get them off the camera. So you have to go and like shrink them down. Well, it was shrinking it like this, kind of squatty. So I couldn't, I, that looked bad. So I'm like, what am I going to do? So Jory told me to use paint. So I opened my old laptop, which was ca catching uh, cobwebs and I'm shrinking. I, I don't, I don't want to say shrink, but I'm making the picture smaller. They're not really shrinking. And that's what I've been doing all afternoon after I did all this cleaning and stuff. And so I'm almost done. I have maybe four more bags to deal with. And then I'll take everything to the Mac computer and then I'm going to post them up there. And when Colin sees all these products populate, I know he's going to get excited. So I'm also going to do print on demand, but he explained how that worked. I, I had read this somewhere, but I wasn't sure. He says with the print on demand, let's say I put up like a shirt like this with my logo for the print on demand. You know how Jada has all that print on demand stuff. Okay. So let's say the hoodie, the base price is $16 and they're selling it for 25 bucks, right? So the difference is their profit. Um, when somebody purchases, Colin's credit card gets charged at $16 right away. And then on the next payout day, because I don't think they pay out all on the same day, that's when Colin will get the payment for whatever was bought. Now he has to take the $16 from the payment and go pay that credit card. Because if he doesn't do it, it's going to be racking up that credit card. So he told me that I have to have a credit card kind of cleared off, like, you know, a couple hundred dollars cleared off of the credit card so that um, we can do print on demand. So y'all know the old shop left me in debt on my credit cards. I only have three of them, but and they're not big credit cards, but still, you know, it's like we haven't had any extra to really pay those off except for the minimum payment. So Colin's like, well, we're going to have to open up something so that you could put um, the print on demand stuff there. So I might not have print on demand right away. I don't know what's in my mouth here. Maybe it's dry. I might not have print on demand right away, but I will have it pretty soon, okay? <laughs> I'm waiting for Joe to hit a red light so I can hold this thing and, and talk to you guys really quickly because I can't find a spot in Jada's car to um, put this uh, camera on the visor. But I forgot to tell you guys yesterday, what I really didn't forget, I recorded the segment on my old Android phone that doesn't have a chip. I was just using it for the video camera and after I plugged it into the Mac, we couldn't find the segment. The segment's on the phone, but the Mac couldn't see it. <laughs> so it's still there. So what I wanted to tell you guys, oh my God, how rude. Oh, stupid bike. I forgot to tell you guys, or what I wanted to tell you guys is that I got an email from the doctor yesterday telling me that all was well with my ultrasound. I'm grateful for that, but I'm still going to call her to make an appointment to go in and speak with her because she needs to tell me what's going on with the polyps. Did they grow? Did they not grow? I mean, all is well is good, but I need details. So I'm going to call tomorrow, make an appointment. It'll probably be maybe three weeks from now that I get to see her. Um, Maybe I'll be lucky and I'll get in like in a cancellation or something, but I want to sit down and talk with her because I'm still having issues with my gallbladder. Every time I eat something, well, not every time, but a lot of the times when I eat something, I'll feel like a little spasm and then it'll subside after the food kind of digests, you know? So Joe and I are heading to the gym, guys. Overcast um, days are the best days to record in because they make you look good. I love to come on a date with Joe to this place right here, Pancho Villas. This used to be our thing back in the day when the business used to do great, when we had the bottle printing business and it, and it was doing um, good. We used to come here and eat every Friday. Not every Friday, one Friday a month, right Joe? One Friday a month. This was our thing, Pancho Villas. I can make all the meals that they make better than they can because they do a lot of fajitas and stuff like that. But the stuff is so expensive. Once upon a time, the, the triple, the trio for the fajita, which is the shrimp, beef, and the chicken used to be like 16. I think now that's probably 28. Uh, the chicken one is probably 16. But the thing that I like about Pancha Villas is the atmosphere. I like the mariachi music. People go down on the floor and dance. It's uh, dark in there with just a little candlelight. It's very romantic, right? 
So I, I think you're paying for the ambiance. But we can't afford that. That's gonna be like 50 bucks, huh, Joe? What do you think? About $50 for two hours ago? $60. Joe thinks about 60 bucks for both of them. Girl, I could pay a bill with that. Mm -mm. Gonna go get Josh, guys. So a bunch of storms are moving in, Josh. Yeah, I saw that when I was walking to my next class. I uh, dark clouds were. But it got cold, so I wonder if the cold will chase off some of the rain. I hope so. Who told you you could touch my protein? You put peanut butter in your protein? No? You Somebody did? left the peanut butter like that open? It's a drawer. That I have an ants, you know? Hey, what are you looking in the door for? Are they cold? <laughs> That's, you see what she did? See how she bumped the door with her um, nose? That's what she does when she wants to come in. She'll bump the door with her nose, but it's too early. They come in right now, they want to leave like 2 in the morning. Hmm? Okay. Let them in. Coraline knows exactly. Coraline knows exactly where she needs to go. Mm -mm -mm. Let me go put up more products at my site. I really wish I could drink the protein, but the protein powder has lactose and it hurts. Haswe, Grenaje, Que pasó? Just vlogging. Go by, Jory. Mm? I mean, I'll go by Jory. I still love this little apron for Navy. I think it's so cute, though. It's super cute. You're gonna love this the way she bakes every weekend. That little, girl get, that little girl gonna get fat eating all that Creole bread. <laughs> she's young, she's got a fast metabolism. Right, right. <laughs> this is the next bag we're working on right now, guys. This is the outside of a beach bag. The, the dark lighting is not doing it justice right now. Yes, yes it is not. No, no, it's not. Whatever. No, no, it's not. Huh? That's it, Jory. Mom, before you record, mm -hmm. there's no calories in cinnamon, right? I don't think so. It's like kind of like nutmeg and stuff. Okay. No calories in cinnamon. What you putting cinnamon on? My oats. Ooh, sounds gross to me. Don't knock until you try, old lady. Ugh. Because you know what? I've come to the conclusion that I don't really like anything in my oatmeal. The <laughs> only thing that I could tolerate in my oatmeal would be raisins, and raisins aren't good for you because it's so high in sugar. And I've been staying off of sugar. I've been doing good, you guys. So let me tell you what I did this morning so far. I'm going to wrap this one vlog up because I don't want it to be a two-day thing. But let me tell you what I've done. Figured out how to reset our scale. We have two beautiful bathroom scales that are expensive scales. And um, unfortunately, it was stuck on our last data from the time when I was 48 years old. And now I'm 51. So I think Jada was like 19 for her data. Uh, Joe was 57 and Jory was how much Jory? Like 22? What happened? What what the scale was stuck on for your data? How old were you? I don't know how old I was, but I was 165 back then. So 165? Was super skinny. Yeah, he was scrawny. So I, you know, it's as easy as put the, a, a toothpick in the bottom of the thing and hit the reset button, but it's not as easy as that because sometimes it doesn't reset. So I reset the whole thing. We took our weight. This scale gives you your hydration. It gives you your body fat. Let me tell you, my body fat is off the charts. <laughs> Not in a good way. <laughs> Jory, how much was it? 50%? Eh, I'll say 49. 49? Make, 40. Feel, make feel better. Jory says he wants me to feel better. It was at 50%. So 50% of my weight right now, which is 198, is fat. Mm -mm. It has to go. Jory, how much should my body fat really be if I'm not trying to get cut up and muscles and stuff? Do you know for a woman? I don't know off the top of my head. I know it's for abs. For abs, Jory says your your body fat has to be at 12. For um, guys. For guys. Girls is like 14. How much is yours? I'm at 14. 14? Mm -hmm. Oh my God. Jory is near abs point. Okay, Tracy. Tracy, do you hear this? Tracy will appreciate it, uh, Jory, because she does meal prep for a living. Mm -hmm. And um, tr uh, Web tra um, does uh, training. Uh, Web trains. So they would appreciate it. So anywho... 
Joe's body fat is like 29%, I think. So that's way, way better. But we are working on this. Remember, we're only like three weeks in. Monday coming will make three weeks. So as I keep on reducing and keep on going to the gym, the scale will tell me what's going on. Now, my hydration was poor. My hydration was like 30, I think, and it's supposed to be 45 or above for a girl. Right, Jory? It said 45? 30 to 40. I, I know something said 45, but I was on the 30, right? Yeah. Yeah, my hydration was bad. So I got to make sure that I stay hydrated for the amount of fat that I have on me or the amount of muscle that I have on me, which is fitty, fitty. <laughs> oh my goodness. So Jada's at school. Joshua's going to go to school for four o'clock. This is the day that Joe stays with him. This is the last day that Joshua's in this quarter for this class. So uh, Joe won't have to stay over there um, next week, I don't think. And then after this, when Joshua starts back the next quarter, he can drive his own car because then he can buy his parking pass. So, um, yeah, that's what's happening right now. Joy's over there putting on Interfacer for another bag that we're going to make my website. I put all my products at my website. Once the DNS servers or whatever gets pointed to the Shopify e-commerce cart, um, you guys are going to see the, the website public. Right now, it's my old website that you're going to see, and the products that I have there are still for sale. So I'm not totally down. My shop is not totally closed, you know what I mean? But as soon as iPage points my whatever they need to point to Shopify, then my store that I'm building now is going to be available. And you guys are going to love it because uh, even though I'm not going to have print on demand right away, I'm going to have other random things. So uh, Joe's going to make his spoon, knife, fork, bowl. And um, what else? Just know we were talking and we came up with the idea to make the flowers from the pantyhose. And you know Mother's Day is coming up, so that could be something for people to give the mom. So we have to go find the pantyhose and the dye and find a pot to dye this. Oh Lord, because they never have the right green for the leaves. So I'm gonna have to go find like green dye, and then get like white uh, tights or something and dye that green for the um, the leaves. But we're gonna make all types of stuff to sell from the website. It's not just gonna be about bear pantry show and food. It's just gonna be an e-commerce store where I sell things that I can make and I sell things that I can buy for reasonably priced and then tack on a little percentage to make a profit. So if I can get something for like a buck, I would sell it for maybe three bucks, you know, cause I don't, I don't want to gouge and I want to have uh, cheap items that anybody could come and purchase from my store. And then that way, um, if you're there buying, then you might want to buy something else. You know what I mean? So I'm going to end this vlog cause I don't want it to be a two day vlog. And I'm going to start the next one right after this. Thanks for watching, guys. See you tonight. Yeah, daddy, in a kimono. Get that up,